those who died today were children. Uh, beautiful little kids between the ages of five and ten years old. They had their entire lives ahead of them. Birthdays, graduations, weddings, kids of their own. That was a very somber President Barack Obama five years ago today, tearfully speaking about the victims of the Sandy Hook massacre. And these are the 20 children who were killed along with their six teachers in Newtown, Connecticut. One of the deadliest shootings in the U.S. The attack ended when the 20-year-old gunman shot himself to death. The gunman had also killed his mother before the school rampage. His use of a semi-automatic rifle sparking another fierce debate over gun control in the U.S. The old Sandy Hook school was demolished in 2013, a few months after the killings. A new school opened in 2016, keeping its predecessor's name. We are indeed in a struggle to preserve our republic, our civilization, and our religion and is set free of suffering humanity. And the battle rages on. Republican candidate Roy Moore still refusing to concede defeat in Tuesday's U.S. Senate race in Alabama. In a video statement Wednesday night, Moore said there are military and provisional ballots still to be counted, and the campaign was waiting for certification by the Secretary of State. The stunning upset by Doug Jones makes him the first Democrat elected to the U.S. Senate from Alabama in a quarter century and narrows the Republican Senate majority to just two seats. You know, because I am serving until the 20th, I have to be very careful about how I answer this. But there were a lot of things that I observed during the last year that I was very unhappy with, that I was very uncomfortable with. Omarosa, the former Apprentice star, speaking out for the first time since reports she had been let go from the White House. She denies she was fired and says she resigned after a conversation with White House Chief of Staff John Kelly about some of her concerns. According to the Secret Service, her White House pass has been cut off, but she will remain on the staff through the administration's one-year mark in January. And in Moscow today, quite the elaborate affair. This is the annual end-of-year news conference hosted by Vladimir Putin. Now, we spoke about Washington, and he says they're obsessed with spy mania on accusations that Russia meddled in the 2016 presidential election. He says that is being invented by Donald Trump's enemies. Now, he also admitted that he and the Donald are on a first-name basis.